As we approach chapter two, we get to start to learn some tools of how to help us solve a linear equation. What I have behind me is I have a general description of a linear equation. AX plus B equals C. So if I find any equation I can fit in that, into that form, I have a linear equation. And once I identify that, then there are some properties that help me learn how to solve that particular problem. Underneath of that, in this example, chapter 2, section 1, example 1, I'm given x minus 3 equals 8. And that is a linear equation because it fits into this form. A, in this particular case, is a 1. My B variable is a negative 3, and my C is an 8. It doesn't matter what my A or what my A, B, and C are, as long as I have them there. So how do I solve x minus 3 equals 8? Well, there's a property of, of addition that we can use. The addition property of equality is basically saying, whatever I do to one side of the equal sign is fine is as long as I do it to the other side. So your first strategy in solving equations that include variables is get the variable by itself. So you want to look at where the variable's at and find out is there anything else nearby that's in the way. And what I see is I have x minus 3 on one side, I have an 8 on the other side. I just want the x by itself. So what I'm going to do then is, is I'm going to add a number to this side that I hope will remove that negative 3. And I can choose anything I want, but as long as I do it to the other side. So I'm going to add a positive 3. And that's fine as long as I do it on the other side. So x minus 3 plus this 3, negative 3, positive 3, gives me a 0. So x equals, and then 8 plus this 3, 11. x minus 11 and x minus 3 equals 8. They're identical, well, they're not identical, they're equivalent equations. However, one of them is written as x equals or x by itself, which allows us to know what is x. And in this particular case, x equals 11.